With these slides, you will learn the structure of insect wing. Among invertebrate animals, only insect possess wings. Wings are present only in adult stage and number of wings vary from two pairs to none. Certain primitive insects like silverfish and springtail have no wings, generally called apterous insects. Ectoparasites like head louse, poultry louse, and fear are secondarily wingless. Wings are deciduous in case of ants and termites. There is only one pair of wings in the true flies. Normally, two pairs of wings are present in the insects and they are born on pterothoracic segments that is mesothorax and metathorax. Wings are moved by thoracic flight muscle attached to their bases. And presence and absence of wings divides insects into two broad groups, arterigota and pterigota. Arterigota means no wings and pterigota means presence of wings. The wings develop as evaginations of the exoskeleton during morphogenesis, but they become fully functional only during the adult stage of the insect life cycles. Most insects have two pairs of wings. One pair on the mesothorax and another pair on the metathorax, but never on the prothorax. This slide shows the cross sections of a wing to show different zones of the wing. That is wing membrane, nerve, trachea, blood space, epidermis and lower cuticle. Now, coming to the different zones of an insect wing, generally three Angles are found in insect wings that is humeral angle between the body wall and the costal margin and second one is apical or outer angle between costal and apical margin. Third one is the anal angle or tornus between apical and anal margins and important margins are shown in the upper line that is costal or anterior, apical and outer and anal or inner. This slide shows different zones and venations of insect wing. Now, coming to the different areas that I have told earlier slides. And these are the different regions. You see humeral angle, costal margin and this more important is uh, pterostigmata. Actually, pterostigma is pigmented spot present on the anterior margin of the wing and this is present on both pairs of the wings in odonata and on the four wings of many hymenoptera, sopoptera, mecoptera and neuroptera. In odonata, it is believed to reduce the wing flutter during gliding and thereby increases the gliding speed. Wings are very thin, broad leaf-like structures strengthened by a number of hollow and narrow tubular structures called veins. And arrangements of the veins on the wing surface is called venations. You will see so many longitudinal veins, namely cross veins. And you will find costa, subcosta, radius, media, and cubitus. Last one is the anal veins. All longitudinal veins, different, you will see different venations on this yellow figure. Then come to the cross veins. The humeral cross veins between costa and subcosta, radial cross veins between radius and radial sector, radiomedial cross vein that is between radius and media and the medial cross veins between branches of the medial and mediocubital veins that is between media and cubitus and more important thing in insect wings wing coupling types of wing coupling are as follows first one is the hemulate a row of small hooks is present on the costal margin of the hind wing which is known as hemuli these engage the folded posterior edge of the four wings as we find in case of bees. It is a amplexiform type. It is simplest form of wing coupling where a linking structure is absent 
coupling is achieved by broad overlapping of the adjacent margins as we find in case of butterflies and last one is the free net one there are two subtypes that is found in fruit sucking moth hind wing bears near the base of the costal margin a stout bristle called frenulum which is normally held by a curved pro process and retinaculum arising from the subcostal vein found on the surface of the forewing. With these slides, I will show some modifications of the insect wing. First one is the elytra found in coleopteran and dermapteran bit, uh, beetle. Then comes hemi elytra found in hemipteran insects and tegmina front wings that are completely leathery and parchment like in texture and more modifications you will find in case of diptera the halters small club like hind wings that serves as gyroscopic stabilizer during flight and fringed wings uh, found in case of thysanopteran insects slender front and hind wings with long fringes of hairs and hairy wings front and hind wings clothes with city found in trichoptera and more uh, modifications found in lepidoptera where wing is scaly and front and hind wings covered with flattened scale and the hemuli uh, found in case of hymenopteran insects and the frenulum found in case of lepidopteran insect thank you very much this is all about the th structure of insect wing